Welcome to my very short recap of Game 6 of the 2023 FIDE World Chess Championship. Ding Li Ren has the white pieces, Jan Napomniachi has the black pieces. Two surprising things happened today. One is that we got another decisive result, which is highly unusual. We've now had four games that were decisive and only two draws. The second surprising thing, at least to me, was that Ding Li Ren opened with the London system, which is pretty unusual at, this, at such a high level of chess. Both players played book moves, known moves that are in the master's database out till about move 10. And by the time we get to the 10th move, there's only three games left in the database. Now there's only two, and that's a totally new move according to the master's database on Lee Chess. Now I ran the analysis of this game on both Lee Chess and Chess.com, and they disagreed on how many mistakes there were, how many inaccuracies there were, and when those mistakes and inaccuracies were. So me as a novice, as an amateur, I'm going to have a hard time deciding exactly what happened. But you can watch the evaluation bar start to shift here in Ding's favor as Jan plays slightly less than ideal moves. Already we're at about 0 plus 6, and without playing an inaccuracy or a move that's counted as a mistake, the advantage starts to slip toward Ding. We're already at what, plus 1.4. Now, I watched the commentators here say that E5 was a mistake or at least an inaccuracy on Jan's part, but the evaluation bar didn't jump here, and the game review doesn't count this as an inaccuracy or mistake. It's just that Ding's moves are closer to the ideal engine moves than Jan's were. And in fact, on the Lee Chess game review, no move is counted as even an inaccuracy until move 36. There. That was the first move actually counted as an inaccuracy by Jan Napomniachi. Now what he's got is a passed pawn with a rook behind it, and I'm not sure what he was thinking with the bishop move other than to protect it from this knight. Stockfish says what he should have played here was rook to g8, and I think that's because there's an attack coming here. But I'm not certain. This wasn't among the top three moves. Ding has a plus 2.7 advantage. And from here he continued to press it until the next move that's listed as inaccurate by Stockfish on Lee Chess was rook to f8. And that takes the advantage even higher. Now here on Lee Chess, it says that Ding's next move was a mistake, and that's d5. It takes the advantage down to plus 2.1, which is still a significant advantage. Did you see the eval bar jump while I was talking? The game review didn't notice, but it's still plus 5. Before that move, the evaluation was plus 6. After that move, it's plus 5. So the game review didn't run at a deep enough depth to tell that that wasn't actually a mistake. I was watching this game live and I saw the evaluation bar there, so I knew that Ding was winning here, but I wasn't sure exactly why. It turns out that he has some kind of mating net if Jan doesn't respond. He has a pawn guarding this spot, he has a knight that can hop in here, he has a rook lined up with this pawn, and a queen that can get down there safely. And that's basically what happened over the next several moves. Jan was worrying about his past pawn and not worrying about the mating net that was coming. And here Stockfish says there's a mate in 10, no matter what Jan does. He moves the rook over, now there's a mate in 9. And after queen to f7, which aims to sacrifice the queen, Jan resigned. And now the championship is all tied up at three games apiece. So I'm excited to see what comes next. Thank you for spending your time here, and we'll see you next time.